Okay, hey everyone, welcome to Breaking News. We have uh, we have new features. I am your host, Jan, and today we'll explore the new WebEDU features that we have. So this is a new type of webinar, so I hope you all enjoy it. Uh, we'll hopefully make more of, uh, of these in the near future. Today we'll be covering we'll be covering uh, a new feature you already know about, and of course two more that you obviously don't. Um, I have prepared some notes as well, and a cheat sheet in case you need it. Uh, this presentation will also be part, uh, will also be sent to you after the webinar. Um, all right, so let's start. New menus. All right, so we have new menus, something that a lot of you have been asking a lot, and Today we have it, all right? So we gave you a few days to test it out, which is great. And now we're we're just gonna go over exactly what needs to be done, how to do it. This is basically basically the how-to. Now, a few things. Um, you no longer need to go to the design panel. Generally, you drag and drop your new menu, you double click, and then you go to your design panel here. You don't need to do that, okay? Let's put this out. All right, so let's take it out. This was my new, this was my old menu. And right now what I'm gonna do, you have a new section on your left. Okay, so you have basic elements, menus, all right? So let's drag and drop this menu element. Okay, pretty neat. Now, also, you're gonna see that it, it is completely synced with the, the pages and navigation that you have. Sorry, let me just change home to home with an E. There you go. All right. Okay, so as you can see that on the spot visually, you can uh, you can see the effect that is happening. All right. So let's have a look. So a few notes: you no lo no longer need to go to the design panel. Double clicking the element opens the properties panel. So let's double click and. My properties panel is here, double click, okay? Now they change it to just click it and it opens. You have over 20 animation effects, some effects uh, added to the act active state, all right? So you have a, a hover state and the active state. For now, you can input the exact size for all tabs, so you don't need to do um, what, we, what we used to have here. If you click on this element, you have the dyna dynamic menu. So it's already pre-made, it's all synced, it's all in the same size. And menu also supports supports SVG, uh, as do all elements now. And now we're gonna really work with the menu. Okay, so this is my cheat sheet. So let's start. Number one, font styles. So like buttons, you need to set a font style. Okay, so let's open our paragraph styles. Let's put it here. Okay. Um, from normal, want to write light. Let's open a new one. This is on an existing website that I'm doing it. All right. Let's call it menus. Okay. Uh, menus, we want it to be centered. We want it to be. Well, I guess this doesn't really matter, but, but as long as we set up the, par the paragraph style, we're good. All right. So let's click here. And my properties panel is on my right. Let's try and make it long. Wonderful. Select menu. I called it BP1. This is BP1. Uh, font style. There you go. This is from my properties panel. Menus. As you can see, the menu font has been changed. I can set the size of the font. All right. So if I want 18, you can see that it's big. All right. So let's go to 14. Okay, the font color I can choose where whichever I want. So let's make it light gray. The hover color, the color when I hover with my mouse. Let's say black. And the active color, the active color is right now blue. We're looking at the home page. If we go to our templates page, we'll have the templates, uh, the templates tab font and everything else to be active. So my active state will be also black. All right. So font weight hover weight and active weight you can also set to the font of the menu kind of bold that's why we have semi bold you have bold completely bold this is the normal 
let's make it light all right so it's a tiny bit lighter semi bold when i hover over let me because everyone has its own weight and the active weight will keep it to bold all right tabs background okay so you can color the tab itself okay or you can put an image so you have tabs normal color hover and active so you have all three states and you also have in terms of images okay um you can have this this is my normal normal color my hover color let's say this bluish see okay i it, it all depends with you how you design your site i never put colors i never color my my menu my tabs but you can also put images all types of images even images that are colored um it doesn't matter so yeah you're very you have the full really an amazing flexible way to design the menus tabs and alignment so all types uh, all types tabs are the same width, uh, width. Okay, I just want to show you something really cool. All right, so this is the same width. You see, you don't need to put no margin, no spacing. Now, if all tabs are not the same width, width, sorry, they follow the length of the characters that are inside of them. So templates, it goes from T to S with the small margin that you tabs horizontal margin and vertical margin okay so if the horizontal margin is 10 if i skip it to zero as you can see it follows really the space between so it's really okay let's put it back to 10. text alignment center if you wanted to put it to right it doesn't i mean you don't need it generally a menu is always the text inside the menu is always centered uh, but you can also put it to right text horizontal padding 15 if i put it to zero you can see it really sticks to the to the text that is inside every tab okay let me put it back to 15 and make all tabs the same width okay um, you have the menu direction, left to right, right to left, depends with you. So this is for tabs and alignment. You can see it's really ordered in a way that you choose one step at a time, and it's you don't need to get complicated with it. I know that the old menus had some not some complication. You just needed to know better how to use it. Okay. Now we also have something called display icons. Now I'm in the icon section. So you know those menus where where you have those tiny let's say icons in the on the side like these arrows. So this is exactly the same concept. Okay. However, you don't put any icons here. The icons that you need to put are on pages and navigation. Okay. So let's go to pages. Let's go on my home, the settings of my home. So you can see that the home setting, the, the page settings is completely different, okay? So right now here at the bottom, you see icon in the menu and icon in the menu in the hover and active state, okay? So this is exactly what we're going to do. So let's say I wanna download an icon. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw my previous webinars. I go to flat icon to download all my icons, okay? And it's completely free, obviously. So my first icon should be somewhere. Oh, maybe I deleted it. It doesn't matter. Let's arrow down. Okay, cool. Fine. Let's do this one. Take this off and change the color to light gray let's say there you go png 16 free download there you go that's one another one let's just change its color because we want to hover state so i don't know 38338 amazing png 16 free download and there you go Let's go back here. And now icon in the menu, let's upload the icon that we just downloaded. This one. 
And the second one, oh, my bad. The black one is the hover and active state. And the normal state is the gray. Great. Click OK. And now display icons. Okay, you don't see them because I colored my tabs, obviously. There you go. Now you see checks on the menu as well. You see that the the icon in uh, in my other tabs here are different. Why? Because we actually gave you a, an even better solution. We gave you the solution of putting an icon, two icons, active and let's just say icon, which uh, which uh, is activated for normal and hover and active states. So you have you can put an icon for the home page, and you can also put a completely different icon on the templates page, and on the pricing page, and on the contact page. Okay, so here. Let me. Oh, it's it's an active state. So let's do the same thing for templates, and you're going to see that it works perfectly fine. So this is the normal state, and this is the active state. And then we click OK, and you're going to see that my templates has been changed. Okay, so you already see the icon there. If I hover over it, my icon changed to dark gray. All right, so you do the same thing for pricing and contact us. So display icons. The icon size, I can even change the size inside the uh, of the icon itself. So I can make it completely small or I can make it very big. It's for you to choose. I like it very small. There you go, okay? Not only that, you can choose the icon's position. So it's either before the text, center, which is actually very cool. You can make it, if you if you go on the icon's vertical padding and do five, for example, let's say make better 10, okay? You're gonna see it's really nice. Now you can also do after text, which is kind of after, and you can position the icon itself within the properties panel. Um, but I guess like most websites, they use um, they use this, they use before text. Yeah, there you go. Okay, zero. Okay, icon right margin, let's do 10. Okay, this is better. An icon left margin, there's no, we don't need any left margin. Animation. Okay, so right now the only animation that you saw is, is this bar coming down, fading down. Okay, which is very cool already. So let's do a second, another, another type of animation. So you can choose your animation color and your animation effect. So let's choose the color. That we already have okay let's give the color in the same uh in the same concept there you go okay so animation so you have around 20 animations uh i know i liked a special effect yeah this one okay you can see you can hover over those tabs you get a really nice effect Oh, amazing. Completely amazing. So let's delete my old menu and let's put this new menu. Let's pin it first. Pin it, repeat on all pages, obviously, and put it here. There you go. You have a new menu completely customized and enjoy. You can upload your font. You can put an icon. You can set a, a hover effect. You can color the tabs. You can make the tabs the same size or nothing at all or choose the size that you want you can choose your animation uh you have a hover state and an active state you can put you can put a you can put two types of icons the normal icons the hover icon and different icons on different pages for different for for the different tabs of your menu you can basically i mean what else can you ask what else can you ask for so this is for the menu questions so I'm gonna give like around five minutes, ask ask away, and I'll be happy to answer or even to test it out with you guys. Okay, so we have a, a cool question from Peter. Can you add your own fonts, how to, or is it what you 
or is it what's on your machine will automatically populate for use? No, you can actually use your own fonts, okay? So um, remember, I don't know if you're here in the first minutes of my webinar, so you go on your properties panel because the first thing that you need to do is the font style. You choose the font style. The font style is, in other words, the paragraph style. So you're going to go to view, paragraph styles, okay? This is menus, okay? I created my paragraph style. So you know what? Let's even create a new one. Create a new style. Menus 2. Okay, now on this menu too, you're gonna see that my design panel is here. Okay, so it tells me to choose which font I want. So I ha you have a variety of fonts and you also have add fonts. So you're gonna click on that button, add fonts, and you have three, ta three tabs. You can add Google fonts, upload your own fonts, or connect from Typekit from Adobe. Okay, so let's say upload your own fonts, upload font files, Helvetica, Give it a minute. There you go. So I uploaded my own fonts. Click OK. Choose Helvetica Lite. Okay. Um, and then I just click here, font style, and you see the menu two that we just created together. Click on it, and there you go. I changed my font. Okay, what was the site for the free icon? It's called flaticon.com. I'm just gonna paste it here for everyone. Okay, another question, do you have to import your fonts? Um, I mean, you have to have your own fonts on your computer. The ones that I, that, I, uh, that I uploaded are fonts from my computer. So you can download any fonts if you have a third party, uh, I don't know, uh, if, you, if, you, if you bought a font or if you're connecting from Typekit. So yes, you can basically do whatever you want with fonts. You can upload it on, Webidu, on the Webidu, uh Studio and you can use it for basically anything. Do these effects work in the mobile menu or is it or is that to come? Well, I mean, I'm not sure what you mean by mobile menu. We have this is the horizontal icon and this one is the the vertical one, which is I mean, the same thing. If you're putting that in the menu, yes, the the effect will will uh will work. Okay. So we have a cool question from Alex. What happens if one of the options in the menu is a three word phrase like my recent work? How does this can be equally spaced between the other menu options to have proportional proportional uh, spaces? Okay, so let's try it. So instead of templates, we're going to say my recent work. My recent work. Tabs. Oh, there you go. Let's put a background so that we can see better. Let's also make my so you can see better. All right. So yeah, same space, same box size. So you can see it's all relative to the tabs. Tabs are all the same, same size. Okay, if you want it to be different sizes, then uncheck all tabs are the same width. Can, okay, so not, we have a cool question from Steven. Can I just have the icon for the menu? Yes, we actually have a menu template that has the icon just for the menu. Um, we have font style. All right, this is default. If I change this to default, good try. Uh, just do this. Drag and drop the menu element that has nothing in it, that only has icons. Um, by mobile menu, I mean these are these responsive. These are responsive. Um, I I generally suggest that when you get to a to a mobile uh, a mobile uh, a mobile a, a mobile layout, sorry, um, to always drag and drop the hamburger menu, okay? But if you want to use them, these for mobile versions, by all means, of course. I mean, try to imagine when they click, the effect happens, and at the same time, it changes pages, okay? Okay, so for those that cannot see where the menu element is, 
Okay, sorry, I'm just going to answer this question uh, from Steve. I see pages, page settings, the icon in the menu feature is shown, but I do not see the new elements sidebar. Not sure exactly about the question. I'm not sure uh, what it means. Let's move, try to explain your question and I'll, I'll answer it after the second feature that I'm going to explain. Okay, so this is for menus. So I have the cheat sheet here. You can follow it after the webinar is done. Let's move on to the second feature that you guys, uh, I'm sure a lot of you are aware of it. Some of you are not. It's called Facebook Open Graph, okay? Facebook Open Graph is, let's say you want to share your website with a client, a friend, a family member, basically anyone. You just want to share your website, okay? Um, the image, the title, the description of what you're sharing um, this is the this is the, the way that you want to customize it. This is Facebook Open Graph. Let's right now. Let's, I'm just going to go on my Facebook very quickly. Okay. Let's type webidoo.com or just copy the link webidoo. Whoops. Let me refresh this. Reload. Okay, you already see the image of Webidoo popping out, out, website builder and browser web design CMS and hosting Webidoo, and you have the description and you have the URL of, of this. Now, a lot of, a lot of clients came to us because they did not know how to do it. At the beginning, we needed to add code to the website, but today we just managed to, we just said, hey, let's make it extremely easy for us to share sites on Twitter, on Facebook, um, and to be exactly the way that you want it, all right? So let's have a look. At, this, at a certain point, we needed code for it, literally code for it, but now uh, we have the Facebook and Twitter open graph, okay? So notes, use images that are at least uh, 1200 on 630 pixels for the best display on high resolution de devices. Okay. Let's look re really quickly on the terms. This is when you, when you needed to add code, the URL, you have the title, you have this descri description. So you, the URL is the URL of the website or the URL of the page that you're sharing. Uh, the title is the title description and the image. You can choose whichever image that you want. Uh, if you don't choose any image, Facebook will, uh, we'll just guess an image of your website and we'll post it. Okay. This is why, um, this is why a lot of people were confused why they, they would get a certain image instead of the image that they want because they never chose it. So this is how we do it. All right. So let's go. Now, let me go deeper in, it, in, in the subject. You can do that literally for every page that you want. Okay, so now I saved a page. So page title, let's say custom theme generator, Webidoo. Okay, uh, let's say Jan. So basically it takes already my title and it registers my title. Next, I click okay. And let's go to SEO description. I'm just going to take um, description of Open Graph. Oh, I cannot. Give me a minute. There you go. Just copied it. There you go. Click OK. Let's go back to home and you see page image for social sharing. Okay, this is the image that you put. So I did already create a page of a webinar, webinar that I'm gonna host very soon. There you go. Well, amazing. Let's click okay. Close it. Publish it. Now remember, it's at a beta stage. 
So just make sure you did everything correctly that you see the picture. There you go. So this is template gen uh, dot .com. Let's copy that link, go back on Facebook. Let's reload this. Okay, it's on your mind. Well, we already have the custom theme generator, the title. Okay, the URL, open graph meta tags. Maybe I need to host the image. Let's give it a minute. There you go. So this is exactly the picture that I have. If I open my finder, I'm gonna see downloads, Facebook. This is it guys. This is exactly the picture that I'm sharing. If you go if you go on Facebook developers, you need a whole chunk of code to put on your head, on your head of the website, website host the image, choose the title. Now you don't need to do that. Now you have everything in front of you. Webidoo does the rest. These are the terms and this is the cheat sheet. Questions, I'll give a few minutes. Okay, so I see a lot of great feedback from um, from uh, from a lot of clients. Uh, will this help with SEO? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, with no doubt. It's the most efficient way to share something. You know what, let me give you an example. Let's share something that is, my recent works, fine. My recent works. Publish this. So let me just show you what Facebook will will do once I share that link. That's why it's important to put that uh, the 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 picture every time. Give it a minute. There's nothing. Templates. This text text block element is a smart combination with both header and paragraph to help you create co cohesive uniform, which is kind of the sort of sections on a page. There's nothing. Generally, you need code for it. What happens if you share that with a client on Facebook? A lot of a lot of leads that you generate, okay, as a as a company, come from Facebook advertisement. What if you share the wrong page? What if you share a page that has nothing in it? This helps with SEO completely. This is a good so a great solution. People ask Open Graph constantly. Um. We have another question from Peter. Is there a LinkedIn solution? It is already integrated. Again, let me just do that. Go on Twitter. Oh, I need to test it. Delete tweet. I need, it needs a few minutes, I guess. But for Facebook, it will for sure. Let me try. I guess it takes a few minutes, but it generally does uh, everything automatically, LinkedIn and Twitter. So, we'll, okay, so we have a question from David. So will this work in the same way on all social media or is there any of the main ones that doesn't work? That doesn't work? This is meant, okay, again, it's an, at a better stage. It might not show at the beginning, okay? 
uh, our our developers are, are still working on it, QA testing it, making it, improving it. Um, this is meant for um, this is meant so that it works everywhere, LinkedIn, all social, all social media. This is its main purpose. Um, we have another question from Alex. Okay, so the page title is very important. However, uh, some some people would want to put a different page title uh, on social sharing. Not a problem. Here's what you do: duplicate the page, name it to the, a completely different title, and share that page. Simple as that. Or duplicate that page. Uh, a lot of people they they build landing pages and and they duplicate those landing pages for for um, for uh, for testing purposes. Okay, and also for sharing purposes. And it's really great to be able to duplicate the same exact page, simply change the title and share it. Okay, so you'll have the page title on your website and for social sharing, you have a different title. All right, so um, what did I want to do as a surprise feature that we also are launching? I do want to search before you guys go nuts on me. I'm kidding. Um, give me a minute. Okay, there you go. So, brace yourselves. We have SSL. SSL is a request from so many people having your site completely secure, not only hosted by Google servers, but also uh, having the HTTPS green completely secure, showing Google not only not only for security purposes, but for SEO purposes, especially now that Google, um, that Google uh, prefers having uh, sites that are SSL um, and, and, you, and, and, and penalizes sites that are not SSL secured today. We have SSL. Now, we manually do it for now, okay? But in a few weeks, we're gonna have the system that actually gets uh, your your uh, that actually connects your domain with an SSL certificate, okay? But you can already uh, contact your uh, contact your account manager, your customer success manager, ask them for SSL and they'll be happy to open a ticket, bring it to the developers, and um, and connect to your website, your, your domain, with our SSL certificate. Um, this is an amazing feature, okay? I'm telling you guys in advance. Um, Google, Google will start dismissing websites that are, that are uh, not SSL friendly, let's say, okay? If you don't have SSL, this is very bad, especially for SEO, because Google will penalize you for that. Okay. Now, we do sell SSL certificates at $60 a year. Um, right now, for my special webinar, uh, I managed to generate a 25% off your first year for SSL certificate. Uh, I can paste that promo code here. There you go. So all you need to do, copy that code, all right? Contact your con contact your account manager. Um, we'll be sending you the link to the payment uh, for your SSL. All you need to do, put that code in, pay your SSL certificate, and let us do the rest. Questions? Anything that you guys want me to go over? Uh, I can already see a ton of feedback right now um, about SSL. I'm very happy that you guys enjoy that we re that we really put our heads together and managed to have SSL. So yeah. If you guys want me to go over uh, uh, one of the new features, please let me know. Okay, we have a question. I have SSL with my current hosting, GoDaddy. Is there a way to use them up and when run out, then use Webidoos? Unfortunately not, because it's an SSL that that we get from from uh, from our our hosting provider Google. Um, so this is a completely different SSL. I suggest to go directly with um, Webidoo's SSL if you have a website that is hosted on Webidoo, or if you have a client's website hosted on Webidoo, uh, it would be better. 
is the cost sixty dollars per website or per account it's per website all right so just briefing up it's sixty dollars per website if you guys want it if you guys need it okay you can still publish under http uh, however it's not it's not going to be secured uh, but still if you want it it's sixty dollars per website per year is $60 the discount price or the full price? No, it's the full price. So if you put my promo code, you're going to get it for, what, like 45 bucks for the first year? Okay, great question. How long with, will this promo code be available for? Um, it is available until the end of the month, but on my other webinars, I have different promo codes. I'm going to start having different promo codes. Um, so yeah, but you can still use them. Okay, so we have a, a cool question from Robert. Uh, what is that SSL exactly? So SSL stands for um, Secure Socket Layer, Sockets, I guess. Um, it's sort of, um, it's a security technology that, that links between, um, between, it, it's basically the security of the website. It links between the um, between a web server and uh, and the browser, and, and so to say. Okay, so it just means that your website is completely secure. You can accept credit cards on the on your website. Um, you can basically accept private information that cannot be uh, that cannot be um, public. Okay, so to say. So it's secure to it, it's secure to to browse through your website okay um, Facebook is secure PayPal is a secure website now I did mention uh, I did mention uh, credit cards and so on, but it doesn't. Ha I'm just speaking uh, in regards to you know private information, fragile information, um, to to make your site basically secure. Okay, we have a question from Steve. Jan, can you please go over the steps for getting the Facebook interface working? Absolutely, it's extremely easy. You go to Pages. Go to the settings of the page. You're going to see that the page interface is completely different. Okay, so you have the page title, which is the title when you share your uh, your your URL. So you can say Stephen. Okay, the page URL is the page URL. Okay, so it also catches that. And of course, you see page image for social sharing. You click here and you upload your image. Simple as that. Click OK, publish. Let's reload. Let's go on Facebook and oh, this is templates. Oh, by the way, if you guys, this is how Facebook um, randomly picked, randomly guessed the image that I'm sharing. Okay. Let's, let me just reload this. And there you go. Give it a minute. See, Steven, open Graph Meta. Whoops. Again, let me share this correctly. And now it's just scraping the image and you'll see it very soon. Can you set a global image for open graph or do you have to set it on every image? You have 
This is a question from David. You have to set it for every page. Um, what I do suggest to do is that when you create your website, instead of creating a page and then putting it putting it every time, just duplicate the page and it's already there. Okay, we have a question from Doug about the SSL. Um, does Google truly plan to drop, as you stated, non-commercial sites? Because of course, $60 per site is uh, pretty expensive. Yes, yes. Um, I can maybe, I, I know I saw uh, an article about it very that was released very, uh, very recently. Uh, let me find it, I'll send it to my team. And uh, if you contact, uh, I'll, rem I'll remind, I'm, I'm sure when you got into this webinar, you put your email, we'll send you an email uh, with this article. Oh, here you go. I think David found a nice one. Thank you, David. Here you go. Google wants to kill un uh, un unencrypted internet and will soon flag two thirds of the web as unsafe. There's your answer. Yeah, let me send you all of this article. There you go. All right, thank you. Thank you, guys. Um, I guess there are no more questions, unfortunately. Um, thank you again for this webinar. I hope to make more webinars like these. Um, and of course, send me an email. What type of webinar would you like me to do? I would be happy to do it. Um, and to, you know, of course, uh, show it to you guys on how to's, basically great tutorials, doing complicated things, not complicated things. Uh, also follow me on Twitter. I'm going to post a lot of things very soon. Um, and of course, send you promotions, basically whatever you guys need to make your business more successful. Again, thank you very much for coming. It was a great webinar. Um, hope to see you soon. Thank you very much. Have a pleasant uh, day, evening, afternoon. And thank you again.